Okay, I have a couple of new books tonight. These books I have never seen before. Um, the author was kind enough to send these to me and ask me for a review. Um, this is Secret Beast of the Realm by David M. Taylor II. And this one is Animals of the Realm, also by David M. Taylor. These books are completely different. This one is 20 animal patterns, and I would say this book is um, more for the advanced colorist. And this book is 40 animal patterns, which I would say is a lot um, easier to handle for any beginner um, colorist. So let's get started with the easier one. I'm just going to do a flip through here. Um, and as far as I know, David said he is working, also working on a RPG game that's going to incorporate um, the characters and creatures from these two books. So that's exciting. My husband and daughter play RPG games constantly, so they are definitely going to enjoy that. All right, um, this is Animals of the Realm, House of DT Books. And here we go is a map of his realm that he's working on. And right here he has some information where you can um, go to his website, secretsofthealm.com. It's got an exclusive fan art, all this kind of goodies in there. He's got a how to use the book, where to post your fan art. Really neat. And here we go. Let's just do a flip. Um, these are just animals that are in his realm, and they're all uh, zen tangled, zen noodled. And they're really cute. Some of them I can pronounce, some of them I can't, and that's in both books. Camel, of course. Some of the creatures are very, very common. The cow, the dog, the duck. Look at this dragon, though, right? I love it. This will take a little bit more time because it's a little smaller. An eagle, elephant, a fontiff, the fish. I love the frog. A little face. Giraffe. The griffin, though. The griffin is a little more complicated. But it'll be really nice when it's colored in. The hawk. But the hen, I really love the decorations that's on the hawk. I mean the hen, excuse me. The hippo, the horse, kangaroo, zebra, lion, monkey, nyan, ostrich, color the owl. The panda don't even need to be colored. It's black and white. It looks cool. <laughs> the pegasus. Um, I'm going to call that a Parryton. The Phoenix. The Pig. The Rabbit. The Rhino. Spider. I absolutely, if you know me, I hate spiders. I hate clowns. But I could color this. Not too bad. This is entangled. Not so creepy. This is the one I did. I did the Unicorn because I love them. I used uh, mostly the Smooth S M O O V 36 gel pens right here. I did a um, I did a live stream of that. Um, you can check it out. I fast forwarded it so you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. And um, what I like about this book is like this page I did in 45 minutes. Real quick, real easy, you know, you're satisfied, you got something done, and it makes you happy. So, there you go. I really like the shine on this. Alrighty, we got the whale, the wolf. The zebra's a little more complicated, too. It's got a lot of little lines in there. And here we go, is a picture of David. And it says to access more of his work, you can go to www.d dt2author.org that's a tongue twister okay that's the back of the book and here we go again animals of the realm 
beautiful cover, beautiful pages. They are single sided, non perforated. The paper is thin, but it's not as thin as copy paper, I would say. It's a little bit thicker. Um, this one is Secret Beasts of the Realm. Here's the back. This one's got 20 animal patterns in it. This is part one, it says. And we got the realm page again. I will put all this information down at the bottom so you don't have to worry about trying to read all that. All right, I'll try to pronounce some of these, but I don't want to botch them all up. An uh, Alarian. Not going to even try this one, but it's very cool snakes here. Aquagore, maybe? I'm not sure. And Arilia? Arilla? I don't know. Basilisk Carcidon. Isn't this neat? Oh, I love this. Some of these animals are, or creatures are just amazing. The Cryptune. What that? Air Queen. I'll probably color this one next. A Fump Wump. I just like saying Fump Wump. Who wouldn't? A Graftox. Graftix. And that's from the cover here. Whoever colored this is really good. Really, really nice. This one is one of the ones I was telling you but would be way more advanced. It's little teeny tiny. You can see all that. Little tiny um, details in here to color. Definitely much of fine liners. A group sling. It's like an elephant head on a on a snake. Hera. This is the one I did the Ibis or Ibis, not sure. Um, I really like how it came out. I, I put some pictures on Instagram, but I guess because I used all the light colors, it didn't come out very good. It's really hard to um, I use. A, you can see I use a lot of um, gel pens on this also. Um, just looks so much better in real life. I don't know. I can't get good pictures on Instagram sometimes. Um, and in Padulu, and it's got lightning bolts coming down. I think that's really awesome. Isonade. That other one or this one I might do next. I'm trying to figure it out which one I want to do. I like this one too. Can y'all imagine seeing some of these creatures in real life? Like, come on, uh, uh, a flying bear? Get out. I would be terrified. Here we go again with David, and he gives you all of his information. Um, these two books are very, very neat. It's something that I've never seen before, and I think that anybody can enjoy these, whether you're male, female. Uh, I know my husband even asked about um, coloring in these because these are, you know, his type of thing. He doesn't really do the coloring that much, but I think that he would color. Um, in some of these because of the pictures and you know he does the RPG games along with my daughter so that's something to think about girls if you're trying um, you've been trying to get your husband to color with you try a book like this they will definitely like them if they're into games like this and creatures like this um, really really nice so I would go and check him out. I'll post links to where you can purchase these. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down at the bottom and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I will post all the links down at the bottom so you don't have to worry about it. And if you um, need anything else, please let me know. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.